Hello and welcome to the Study Travel News video. I'm Matthew Knott. And I'm Jenny Fenley, bringing you the latest news stories. Uh, the headlines this week, Victoria reaches cap on overseas secondary enrolment. Spanish agency awarded record government contracts. Australia Association showcases sector benefits. And more besides, including AC and Quality English. Australia first though. Uh, yes, secondary schools in Victoria have been told to stop accepting international students in the current year as a cap of 5,750 places set by the school's watchdog has been reached following an enrolment surge. In a statement sent to Study Travel magazine, the Education Department confirmed that new places for 2019 are closed, with 2020 places now being offered. The the department clarified that students already enrolled or formally accepted will not be affected. And Victoria Minister for Education James Merlino said Victoria was proud to have more international secondary students than any other jurisdiction in Australia and that he was seeking urgent advice on how to accept more students next year and beyond. Phil Honeywood, Executive Director of the International Education Association of Australia, said the department had not anticipated the increase and that the announcement was sending the wrong message. He added that schools in Queensland and New South Wales may seek to redouble their recruitment efforts at Victoria's expense. Mm. And uh, next up, Spanish agency New Link Education has been awarded two regional government contracts totaling 25 million euros, which is said were the largest ever respective awards for teacher and student study abroad programs in Spain. An 18 million euro agreement with the Comunidad, Comunidad Valenciana region will see 6,500 Spanish teachers sent to the UK and Ireland for training programmes based on the content and language integrated learning method over the next five years. Um, and a separate 7 million deal with Vigo will see more than 3,100 students head to the UK and Ireland for high school immersion programmes in the next three years. A continuation and expansion of a scheme New Link has been running for 10 years. The agency praised its staff and partners for work in securing the contracts. Good for them. Back to Oz now, and indeed to the International Education Association of Australia, or IEAA, which has launched a new website and engagement project to showcase the social, cultural and economic benefits of international students to employers and the broader Australian community. Uh, yes, Phil Honeywood said that uh, the project builds on earlier research, which showed that while the sector itself understands, it needs to move beyond preaching to the converted. The new Broaden Our Horizons website features videos, infographics and insight articles. And now for a roundup of some of the other stories this week. English language, EC English Language Centres has announced that Michael Zureb will step down as CEO after 10 years to be replaced by current Executive Chairman Andrew Marjon. Thanking Michael for his service, EC said he had overseen expansion into Canada and Ireland and the acquisition of Embassy English. Um, Quality English has held its first ever Teacher Development Day and Student Fair in Udine, Italy, in partnership with local agency Destinazione Lingue. The Wellington Regional Economic Development Agency in New Zealand is asking agents to encourage their students to participate in the competition to win a free visit for two to check out the city and its institutions. Can we apply? Uh, American Hebrew Academy has announced it will become a candidate school for the International Baccalaureate or IB Diploma Program in August and has also expanded its dual enrolment program with Guildford College. UK College of English, or UKCE, has announced a partnership with the Digital Marketing Institute to offer a foundation certificate course. Um, InfoSpeed Limited, the software company behind the class administration system for the language school industry, has been acquired by Embrace Software Inc., a Canada-based operator of niche software systems. Summit Education, which operates Gleon Institute of Higher Education and Les Roches Global Hospitality Education, has announced a new partnership with the Intercontinental Hotels Group, IHG, which will cover curriculum input and job and internship opportunities. Uh, and finally, EU Business School has announced a new agreement with the Spanish University to valid validate its bachelor, bachelor degrees uh, at its Barcelona, Switzerland and online campuses. More on all of those stories on our website, as well as photos from the Quality English event, the What Uni Student Choice Award ceremony, and Matt here visiting schools and agencies in Tokyo. Indeed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.